I almost gave up, not just on my dreams, but on, on everything because of this, what was going on at the time. And you never know what a person is going through. You never know what a person is dealing with mentally. You know, it could be a student, it can be uh, an employee, an employee. And just by you speaking or saying hi and getting to know that person, you can change that person's life. It's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of our day and lose sight of the things around us, especially the people. Feb and Bellamy is taking it upon himself to show us that taking even a moment can go a long way. Tell me about Unsung Heroes. You know, I remember um, staying up really, really late in the business school studying for my exams. And I remember seeing these workers, they used to come by all the time and clean up the school, clean up the classrooms, the bathrooms. And um, I remember seeing students used to just kind of walk past them like they didn't exist. You know, I remember um, seeing this one worker, his name is O'Neill. And after a while, I got a chance to, you know, just intrude myself and kind of, you know, break that ice that exists. And O'Neill and I just kind of headed off from there. Unsung Heroes was kind of the idea that sparked from that conversation, from getting to know O'Neill, you know, and just like realizing that, you know, there are workers here that keep our universities running behind the scenes and how do we kind of showcase and, you know, and, and give them the appreciation that they deserve. Was Febin the first student that really took interest um, into what you were doing? Yes, as an employee, you know, it's kind of like natural for us to like kind of stay within our guidelines, you know, our job description, which is just go in and do what we're supposed to do and get out. So I kind of, you know, once we start talking and I saw how how much we had in common, you know, I really opened up and got to know him. You're a student here, and you're, you work to maintain the grounds. Um, those are two worlds that seem very far apart, but you guys share something in common that brings you two closer together. What is that? It was time for Febman, you know, had the situations where he had to step up and be, become a man. It was times where I had a situation where, you know, I had to step up and, you know, that stuff, when we talk about it, it really brings grief to us because, you know, we want to be that type of person to, to you know, help our, our, our siblings, our parents, and, and stuff like that out, so. Tell us about your hobby that turned into catering and how it kind of evolved um, through Febin and Unsung Heroes. My dad used to have annual cookouts every year, and I used to be on the grill doing jerk chicken, and, Ah oh, man, a lot of people gave me so much good compliments like, yo, you should sell this or you should try to, you know, brand or do this and that. And I really one day decided to take it serious and it was kind of slow and, you know, it was times where I felt like giving up. But fast forwarded to actually meeting Feb and, you know, just, just by him speaking that positivity in my life, I think that's, 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 that's fulfillment. What's next for Unsung Heroes? Since spring 2015, you know, we've interviewed over 100 workers and we've profiled 25 so far, so we've like about a quarter way there. Now we're kind of in the process of, you know, establishing ourselves as a national organization, as a nonprofit. The good thing is, like, you know, recently, like, over 40 universities have reached out in regards to starting up chapters of Unsung Heroes, like we're doing at Georgetown. So right now, um, my team and I are in the process of, like, establishing those chapters. To learn more about Unsung Heroes and get involved in the organization, follow them on social media, on Twitter and Facebook.